Hello my love. So I just got out of the shower and I just was thinking, you know, I was having those like deep shower thoughts and I just wanted to film a video right now. It is like 11 at night and I was about to go to bed and sorry if I'm talking quiet, like everybody's asleep around me. It's a Monday night. You know, this topic of social media and comparison, just mental health, all that stuff was just like on my mind in the shower and it makes me like so i don't even know the word but i could talk about this all day long it's just so important you know what we got no fancy light up situation here going on just me and you and i want this to be almost like a facetime call okay, pretend we're on facetime but i wrote down some points that i wanted to talk about today let's see let's see okay so what i wanted to talk about today was what started this whole like thought spiral process was I was on TikTok and I saw like three videos in my free page in a row on like those glow up videos. And I love them. They're like really like cool in the transitions. Like yeah, you know, they're cool. Sorry if my camera's like shaking. I literally made like this DIY tripod because I just wanted to film this so last minute. But you know, those glow ups in those videos are just solely physical. It's like they put on some makeup and you know, a dress and it's like glow up. And yes, queen, like, you're beautiful, like, go for it, but I wanted to talk about mental glow-ups. Mental glow-ups is the real glow-up. That is what everybody should be striving to have, is a mental glow-up. Mental health is just so important, and I just feel like it's not talked about enough, or, like, seriously. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest and open with my thoughts, and opinions about this subject. So if you tell yourself you want a glow up, that should mean you want an inner mental glow up. You want to be the best version of yourself, smarter and nicer and just a better version of yourself. And that like inner glow up will show up on the outside. It'll show through your happiness. It'll show through your confidence. It'll show through that just motivation, all that. And that's just the biggest thing is, you know, social media, it can be so toxic because every time you get on it, especially if it's the first thing you get on in the morning when you wake up, you're like, social media, and you go and scroll on Instagram. You're just scrolling and seeing a bunch of people's lives that's edited, not real, the highlight reels, like all this stuff. And you could be thinking, oh, that's how other people live like i'm just sitting in bed again and it's just i can't preach this enough but it's just not real you know society tells you to be yourself but what if you don't even know who you are with everything that just is put out into social media it's like brainwashing our minds and you know like makeup companies skincare it's built all of that is built off of our insecurities. They make money off of people's insecurities. And who even said that those were wrong to begin with? Please never buy these, but I'm just mentioning this as an example. Weight loss, stomach, like you wrap it around, I don't know, like this waist slimmer thing. Like those types of things, they market them to younger people to put in their minds that, oh, you have to have an hourglass slim ways to be beautiful, which is so far from the truth. And when they're putting that in our brains, that's what we're thinking. I mean, that is from the a young, young age, like especially nowadays with social media being as relevant as it is. Kids from like birth, that's just what they're being put into their minds is that this is beautiful this is not you need to fix that you need fillers you need this you need that and that's just not real we live in this world where it's just people and brands and companies are telling us who to be and what's right and what's wrong when none of that is true that is just all brainwashing like let's just toss that out the window because i promise you you are beautiful exactly the way you are everybody goes through it and that's why I'm making this video because hopefully whoever is watching this, if you're younger, if you're older, whatever phase you are in your life, I just want you to know that you are beautiful. You are so beautiful. This also was one of my shower thoughts that I wanted to bring up. If you try to think of the things you do not like about yourself and it's different for everybody, really think to yourself, like reflect to yourself for a moment. Why is it? 
that you don't like that thing about yourself. Did you say social media? I bet that's what 99% of you said. And that's because social media gives out false pictures and images in our minds. There's so many things I've seen on social media where I'm like, oh, am I supposed to be insecure about that? Like, I've never even thought about that before. And social media put that in my mind. All these insecurities, that's where they came from. That is the root of it is social media. Or if you are going on Instagram and you see a picture of another girl and you're like, oh wow, her nose is really pretty. Like, and it's so cute and whatever. Like, I wish mine looked like that. So that makes you insecure about your nose because you don't have that other girl's nose. See, that's where the problem begins. Someone else's beauty is not the absence of your own. And I wish that everybody could hear that. You know, being yourself and unique and different is the best thing about life. I always think about it like, let's say you had a jar of all red marbles, okay? They all look absolutely identical. Do you care which one you're gonna pull out if they're all identical? No, you're just, just another marble. But if you pull out one that has like some beautiful design on it or it's just, it's unique, you're gonna be like, oh wow. I love this, like it's so different, nobody else has it. That's how you need to think about yourself and others. Everything about you is unique. Nobody else looks the way you do. Nobody else acts or does anything the way you do. You are yourself and that is the best thing about you. That's the most powerful thing that you have is being yourself. So when you're scrolling on Instagram and you come across somebody's photo and you're like starting to compare yourself, comparison is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Just stop it right there and acknowledge, oh yeah, they are absolutely beautiful, queen. You know, support, girls supporting girls, all about that. But that doesn't mean you are any less beautiful. A big thing about comparison is that you have to think about it like, you can't compare your life to somebody else's Instagram feed. That is just not fair. Nobody is out there posting their struggles. It's always the highlight reels for the most part. You can't compare your bad days to somebody else's best days. You don't know what they're going through. They don't know what you're going through. Also, just the amount of like Facetune and editing. I just wish Facetune and all that kind of stuff would just go away completely because that should not even be a thing. You can morph your body into something that you would not even recognize. And that's just not okay. I don't know who thought that's a good idea. Your body is perfect just the way it is, I promise you. And you just can't compare yourself to a completely edited down version of somebody else's best photo. Going back to what I was saying earlier, this just came across my mind. When I really, like, why do you want to change the thing about you? Going back to that, is it for yourself or is it for an Instagram photo for others to see? Or is it for other people's opinions of you? You should not be doing anything unless it's for you. I'm gonna use the example of losing weight because I know that's just a super popular one, even though it shouldn't be because you guys are all perfect. So let's say you wanna lose weight. Really ask yourself, why do you want to lose weight? Is it for you? You want to be more healthy? You want to feel your best? You want to be more energized, more confident? Is that why? Or is it because you want to go to the beach and impress everyone around you and you want them all to think, wow, she has a really nice body. Wow, her stomach. Like, is that why you want other people's opinions? Because that doesn't matter, guys. Other people's opinions of you do not matter. Their one second thought of you does not matter. Especially like strangers, the only people's opinions that you should care about are the people that are the closest to you. And that can be your family, your best friends, people who truly love and care about you because they will always want what's best for you. And other people's opinions, you probably won't even see them again in your lifetime. Like why do you care? Like why do we care? We shouldn't, we don't, okay? We don't care. You, me, we don't care about other people's opinions, okay? Let's say it with me, we don't care. One huge thing I encourage all of you to do is do not start your day off with grabbing your phone and scrolling through Instagram or going on Snapchat stories, anything, social media of the sorts, because that just starts your day off down here and you're like, oh, 
they had such a fun day doing this. So oh, look at her perfect, you know, that just starts your day already comparing, already feeling bad. Why would we do that to ourselves? Guys, don't do that. Versus start your day off with playing your favorite song. Start your day off by just chilling. Like, I don't know, just do whatever makes you happy. Write down something you're thankful for and start your day off with gratitude and a positive mindset. That will take you a long, long ways, I promise you. Start your day off with writing things that make you happy. Start your day off with manifesting. You know, at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. You can always depend on yourself because you are not going anywhere. You are in this body for life, so treat it well. We can almost have a toxic relationship with ourselves. There's toxic relationship between family members, relationships, all that kind of stuff. Really think about if you have a toxic relationship with yourself. Do you talk to yourself positively? Do you wake up and start your day off by saying it's gonna be an amazing day, I'm so beautiful. No, just positive affirmations. You should be treating yourself like you treat somebody you love. And you should love yourself. You should be your absolute best friend at the end of the day. When you look in the mirror, talk positively to yourself. Never bring yourself down. Because why would you do that? Would you say that stuff to a stranger or your best friend? And I just want to say also that social media is not all toxic and I'm so grateful for social media. It brought me my platform where I have 1.2 million of you that I absolutely love and I'm so thankful for every single day and getting to like have like 1.2 million friends basically. That's how I think of it is absolutely amazing and and it can be such a positive thing like there are so many positive creators out there there are so many body confident creators out there that don't photoshop their pictures and that are so real and that's who you need to be following and you know unfollow anybody that doesn't make you feel good about yourself don't follow people that make you like sad and <laughs> don't follow people that make you feel bad about yourself or if they're like someone you know personally and you don't want to unfollow them mute them that's a beautiful thing that instagram has you can mute them so that your posts don't come up in your feed <laughs> almost like pinterest everyone goes on pinterest to get inspiration and they're like i love that idea yes ideas that's what i love about social media and is a very positive thing about it is inspiration and social media isn't always bad and i just want to clarify that that it's an amazing thing too and it's brought so many opportunities for many people you can talk to people across the world and it lets me connect with all of you and i love you guys so much if you take anything away from this just know you are so beautiful and so loved as our king harry said treat people with kindness but also treat yourself with kindness be nice to yourself love yourself you deserve it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know if this is like kind of these kind of videos you want to see. I think I'm gonna start a little series and I'm gonna call it let's talk about this one's going to be social media so leave down any suggestions on like topics you want me to talk about relationships friendships anything like literally anything I've gone through it all because I can definitely talk about this and I can go on and on and on but I don't want to wake anyone up so <laughs> just do something for me whether i don't know what time it is for you if it's morning afternoon night before you go to bed tell yourself some positive affirmations write down what you're thankful for manifest things don't scroll on instagram and then go to sleep play your favorite song that just inspires you do whatever it is that makes you happy same for when you wake up in the morning start and end your day with that and i promise you that's a great first step to self-love so i just want to say that i love you all so so much and i mean that from the bottom of my heart and i'm so thankful for you guys my dms are always open if you ever want to talk i try to respond to everybody thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye